Claudia Brown was diagnosed bipolar in 1985. A language teacher and translator for many years, today she works as a project coordinator for mental health at Consumer Action Network in Washington, D.C. She enjoys lending her lived experience to mental health consumers. She also writes on various topics of mental illness and recovery. Once in a while, I forget to tell my psychiatrist that I'm low on medication. My shrink is very cautious and protective of his patients, so he rarely issues refills. I have to be mindful of this since many of my former therapists in the past had the less responsible practice of leaving one, two, or even ten refills on the script. While this was tons easier for me, I could go months without seeing the shrink, it didn't help make the psychiatrist or me accountable to our relationship and work together. Anyway, when I do forget with my current shrink, it's embarrassing. This last time I had to call him on a Sunday, I left a message. Then I called or stopped by the pharmacies to see if they carried the trifluoperazine I needed. After talking in person to the pharmacist at the Target and CVS in my neighborhood, I proceeded to call the 24-hour CVS in DuPont and Tenleytown for convenience sake. None of them had it in stock. It didn't surprise me since the pill is quite, old, quite, quite an old medication that most patrons of CVS do not use. But it did frighten me, left me feeling uneasy vulnerable. It is an antipsychotic. Hospitals are more likely to carry it, my psychiatrist told me later, because they experience more turnover of psychotic patients than your friendly CVS. <laughs> and that's precisely the problem. I have a block asking for trifluoperazine in normal civilian surroundings. The conversation with the pharmacist goes something like this. I'll give you what we said and what we were really saying. Me, hi, I wonder if you had a certain medication in stock, which is code for, I have a mental illness and I'm still sort of ashamed of it, but I need my medication. Pharmacist, what medication? Code for, just how sick are you? <laughs> Me. It's called trifluoperazine, code for, I know, I know, it's an antipsychotic, but I promise you if I stay on my meds, I will not get psychotic or dangerous or weird. Pharmacist, can you spell that? Code for, <laughs> code for, we haven't had a request for that in years. Me, T-R-I-F-L-U-O-P-E-R-A-Z-I-N-E, -E, code for, see, I know what I'm talking about, I'm a healthy, normal, sane woman. Pharmacist, uh-huh, code for, ah, so you are prone to psychosis. I hope you're okay now. I don't want crazies hanging around the store. Pharmacist, how many milligrams? Code for, how psychotic are you? <laughs> Me, only one milligram. Code for, I promise, I hardly need the stuff. It's just for maintenance. Honestly, I really don't need that much at all. Pharmacist, when do you need this? Code for, now we'll <laughs> code for now we'll find out how psychotic you are. Me, I need it right away. I don't have any more pills left. Code for okay, okay, you called my bluff. I am prone to psychosis. If I go several days without the drug, I get shaky and unstable. And yes, besides that, I'm irresponsible. I didn't tell my doctor ahead of time. I'm a mess. Pharmacist, we'll have to order that. It'll take a few days. Code for, you must be really bad off. We never get requests for this drug. It, it's only in psych wards that they have a full supply. Me, oh, well, do you think you could advance me a few pills until it comes in? Code for, I'm begging you. Yes, I have a problem. If I don't get med soon, I might have another breakdown. Pharmacist, I told you we have to order it. We don't have any currently. Code for, just go to a hospital or a shelter or somewhere where they help people like you. Me, okay, thanks. Code for, sure, push me into a mental funk because you're too stingy to carry my medication. I know I'm not the only one. Surely other psych patients need it. You are de depriving a whole population, tyrant. <laughs> I throw my bag over my shoulder and leave the drugstore sort of empowered with head held high, vowing to give my psychiatrist plenty of advance notice the next time my pills dwindle low in their vial. <laughs>